You went to high school, right? Wasn't always Ms. Zoller shacking up with Mr. Leffler on the slide. Mr. Gold is banging Mrs. Kamen in the teacher's lounge before first period. I told you. Hormones and wild imaginations, the stuff of adolescence, the fuel that stokes the fire of gossip. I sure had a cup of coffee with Val, a couple of drinks here and there, but we did work together. Yo, boss, is this going to take all day or what? I understand you guys are just doing your job, so let me help you out. Tuesday night, I was at the ballpark. It's Shay. Let's go Mets. First good thing you said. That was a great game. Too bad it was rained out. In the third inning. That's when I went to Cannons for a couple cold ones. Go ahead, waste your time. Check it out if you want. Color me impressed. I had the Mets on the back end of a three-team parlay. Hey, I love them, but don't bet them. Sherry comes in, dripping wet, but orders a brandy beer back. Alone? Mm. Yeah, it's funny how that goes. When Boz starts showing up, I figured him for a first-class fruit. You know, fancy-ass quotes, calling me barkeep. And who do you know what is Cavassier? Then? Then I realized that it is all for the broads. They eat up that literature crap. It makes you wish you'd finished Moby Dick. Makes me wish I got past Look Jane C. Dick. Meaning Bergen brings a lot of ladies in here. Meaning if I had half of his action, I'd double the dose of vitamin V. Is this one of his dates? Ah, Grey Goose Gibson, extra onions. Never forget a drink. Yeah, I saw her picture in the paper. That's a shame. Another diet. No, once my limit. So she was in here with Bergen? Last couple of weeks, mostly. Did they look cozy? Cozy? <laughs> sure, that's one way of putting it. So it wasn't just the drama club's hormones running wild. Well, maybe the guy has a couple of pops, starts to feel perky, heads back for a little desktop rendezvous at the school. And what, pulls a David Copperfield to get by the security camera over the front door? Ed, you get up in the morning, right? You shower, shave. Now, the guy on the TV with the pearly whites and the perfect hair tells you there's a good chance of rain all day long. What do you do? I put on my old shoes. Yeah, maybe grab a raincoat, an umbrella, some galoshes. That of which I saw on the tape. So either the faculty and the entire student body lost faith in the morning weather guy. Well, somebody pulled a fast one with that tape. Hello? It's like when your building blows a fuse. The super does his thing. Let there be light, air, heat, whatever. Problem is, he never tells the little man working the clock in the VCR. That explains why I keep missing sex in the city. Exactly. You set it to record on Sunday, but what you're really getting is Saturday. Could someone intentionally change the date? People still have one thing over machines. What's that? Fingers. Well, how about using yours to hit the fast forward button? Hey, there we go. Valerie Keenan, alive and well. And tonight's special guest star is... Life's a cabaret, old chum. Can't this wait if my boss sees? It's the least of your problems right now, Fiona. Why would I kill Miss Keenan? I mean, all she ever did was try to help me. OK, the fact is, Miss Keenan let you in the building at 8. Two hours later, you leave the building alone. Maybe someone climbed through a window. Oh, sure, that's a possibility. All it need is industrial strength metal cutters to get through the bars. OK, I was there. But she was fine when I left, I swear. Well, why were you there in the first place? Miss Keenan was tutoring me for my SATs. She needed the money, and I needed the help. Why didn't you tell us this before? When you didn't come to me right away, I thought maybe the video missed me or something. Boss said I should just stay out of it. Boss? Mr. Bergen. Everybody calls him that. Why would he tell you to stay out of it? I don't know. Ask him. Ask anyone. I would never hurt Miss Keenan. Girl enters empty building. Girl exits empty building. And there's a good chance the girl's responsible for anything that happened in between. Unless someone was already there and spent the night, unless there's another way in, shall I keep on going? Hey, Ed, quick. What was the name of your ninth grade algebra teacher? Mr. Heinrich. Spanish? 
Senor Sanchez. Is there some reason for this stroll down memory lane? Mr. Heinrich, Mr. Sanchez, not William or Freddy or Buzz. When we first started talking to Fiona, it was Mr. Bergen this, Mr. Bergen that. We squeeze her a little bit, out comes Boz. But I thought his name was Gary. Yeah, but to those who know and love him. Yeah, and when he's not spending extracurricular time with the fairer members of the faculty, maybe he's picking some unripe peaches off the junior class tree. Look, we're working homicide here. Remember, Vice is down the hall. Yeah, and hell hath no fury like a pissed off teenage girl. Fiona? I don't... Not that I recall. Chuck, look at the picture, man. Might help. Third girl from the left. I don't think so. No. I'm sorry. Hey, what the hell did you give me? Diet cola, like last time. I never ordered a diet anything in my life. Hey, I don't forget. Right. You don't forget. And we don't care what you served or who you served it to. Although I happen to have the number of the people who do on speed dial. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I... She was with him. Now, normally, I card people like that, but when Boz vouches for her... Good old Boz. He's a regular. What am I going to do? But I swear, I don't have a clue what goes down once they're out that door. Let me ask you something. Did you keep tabs on the guys your kids spend time with? Does an alphabetized list count? any brothers or sisters so i've become both her mom and her best friend we talk about everything no disrespect mrs chapman but there's some things that kids don't want mom to know it's a fact of life kids get crushes on their teachers of course they do but they don't act on it sometimes the decision's taken out of their hands sometimes it's the teachers who lack self-control you're saying mr bergen he may have taken advantage of fiona's youth no way Fiona's tough enough to stand up for herself and smart. Top 2% nationally on her PSATs. Top of her class. Besides, she already has a boyfriend. His name wouldn't be Boz, would it? No, it's Brian. I can get you his number if you like. Her mom said that? Hey, a girl tells her mother about you, you're on third, ready to slide home, right? I guess. You don't sound like things are too cool between you two. She says we're cool. Yeah, but uh, you don't buy it 100%, huh? I don't know what to tell you, man. Enjoy it while you got it. I mean, what the hell? Who knows how long it's gonna last, right? I, I told you about Darlene, right? Senior year, girl had legs up to here, body was like parao. I mean, what's she doing with a scrub like me, right? Mine was a cheerleader. Anyway, like an idiot, I believed her when the I can't live without you turned into, no, I'm sorry, I gotta study. I gotta go shopping with the girls. I'm spending the weekend with my sister in Jersey. Swim, man, what you gonna do? Hey, don't beat yourself up over it, kid. Sometimes a sister really is just a sister. We're investigating a murder. Can you explain to me why I should give a damn about how this girl did on her college boards? Fiona claims that she went to the school the night of the murder to get SAT tutoring from the victim. And that's incriminating because? Because her mom says her scores were touching Ivy League. <sighs> a dead teacher, no hard evidence. Snowballs aren't the only things that roll downhill, guys. And if you haven't been reading the Post lately, there's a new DA sitting on the top of that mountain. The girl lies about her reason for going to the school the night of the murder. She tells her boyfriend that she is booked on weekends because she needs to go visit her sister, which she doesn't have. If you lie to one boyfriend, that usually means you got another one. So her sex life's better than mine, so what? So there's a good chance one of the lucky guys is her teacher, the same teacher that was sweating up the sheets with the recently departed Val Keenan. Can we prove that? Dump it all in a bag, give it a real good shake, and I guarantee something falls out. I think if he's facing the threat of a 10-year sabbatical in Ossining for statutory rape, Mr. Bergen might tell us all sorts of nasty things. What's this guy Bergen teach, anyway? English. Good, I was afraid it was political science, you know, all that nonsense about the Bill of Rights and stuff like that. Pick him up. What about her? Well, first, let's see what falls out of that bag. Yeah? Police, Mr. Bergen, we have a warrant. Open the door now. I guess we better do this inside. Now it's not a really good time. Uh... Wait, w uh, what's going on? What's this about? Look, I'll give you a hint, bro. It ain't about cutting class. Hint number two. Sounds like statutory rape. 
Let me guess, old Calcutta. Boss, what's happening? Put your clothes on. You too. Hey, that's mine. Yeah, I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit, see what falls out. Looks like blood. Gary Bergen, you're under arrest for rape in the third degree. Same goes for you, sweetheart. Only instead of rape, substitute murder. 